Congress passed the National Labor Relations Act, or NLRA, in 1935, thereby establishing a federal policy to encourage collective bargaining. Under the law, both sides to collective bargaining must bargain in good faith over employment issues. In Silverman v. Major League Baseball Player Relations Committee, a federal district court considered whether the employer side bargained in bad faith when it refused to comply with the employee side's request for financial information. The Major League Baseball Players Association represented professional baseball players in collective bargaining negotiations. Meanwhile, the Major League Baseball Player Relations Committee, or PRC, represented the team owners. In 1976, the Players Association and the PRC reached a four-year collective bargaining agreement concerning baseball's free agency system. Simply put, free agents are players who are free to sign with whatever team they want because they aren't under contract anymore. Under the agreement, players could become free agents after six years in the major leagues. Additionally, any team's losing free agents would receive replacement player compensation consisting of an amateur draft pick from the signing team. When the four-year agreement ended in 1980, the PRC presented a proposal for revising the existing free agency system. The Players Association objected out of concern that additional replacement player compensation called for in the proposal would reduce player salaries. Negotiations stalemated over the compensation issue, leaving the team owners to unilaterally adopt the proposal and setting the stage for a possible player strike. During the same time, the baseball commissioner and several individual team owners publicly claimed that increasing player salaries connected to free agency were causing financial problems for some teams. When the Players Association requested financial information to substantiate those troubling claims, the PRC refused to comply with the request. According to the PRC, the financial status of the teams had nothing to do with its bargaining position on the compensation issue. Subsequently, the Players Association filed a bargaining in bad faith claim with the National Labor Relations Board. After investigating the claim, the board, through its regional director Daniel Silverman, petitioned a federal district court for injunctive relief.